during this time of crisis or health crisis worldwide, this pandemic, in this case, coronavirus, but doesn't really matter what kind of uh, uh, challenges are we facing. I strongly, strongly believe we need to be um, concerned about our health, overall health, right? So prevention is always, always, always the cheapest, the easiest way to deal with any sort of problems. Now, when I talk about, I'm a prosthodontist, a dentist, a smile designer, and I'm talking about on my field of expertise, but if you uh, broaden that scope, health in general, food habits, do you exercise? Do you, um, you know, are you overweight? Those are things that in my mind will play a big, big role. And we can see and we can witness on the, um, coronavirus crisis that the main factor is not the age over 65 is if you have any comorbidity so if you're if you're 40 years old and have uh, emphysema or COPD or some sort of a heart condition you're in a, you're in that risk category so you should be bunkered down now if you're 65 and you 100% healthy then you're more likely to get away with major problems than a younger person with some sort of comorbidity. So health prevention is, in my mind, a key factor for your well-being now and later. So keep in mind, eat healthy, exercise, keep your weight under control, don't smoke, um, uh, preventive, you know, uh, um, um, medical examinations. Mouth. Make sure you go to your hygiene appointments. Make sure you brush and floss your teeth. Make sure there's no decay or periodontal condition that will hinder your overall health. We know, and there's, and that's not the. I'm not here to lecture you on the connections between your teeth, your mouth, and your body. Because literature and science has been proven in a daily base, uh, in a daily basis, how many connections there are from, you know, mouth and, and body. So I'm just trying to uh, raise some awareness on how important prevention, and when I'm saying prevention, I'm talking about the, the mouth, yes, but I'm talking about the body and mind because if you don't have your mind sane as well, that doesn't help you out because whenever people start panicking, you're gonna start panicking too. So your mind and body needs to be in balance uh, to be able to help others. If you wanna help others, you first need to be able to help yourself. You first need to be able to be healthy. Otherwise, you can help anybody else. All right, so this is just a little uh, food for thought, if you will. And we'll be uh, talking about uh, about other things related to the virus and uh, and dentistry, and that's how I can help my community as well. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you feel like this video was relevant, please share it, and I will appreciate it. And I hope I'll help you out a little bit today. Stay safe, and talk to you soon. Bye.